the clue. You have to understand the English language and all the nuances and all the regionalisms and, and the slang and the shorthand to, to play the game, to get the clues. Watson and Google are really different animals. Google uses your brain a lot when it helps you find an answer. It asks you for really, really clear instructions that a computer can understand. And then it leads you to a web page and leaves it up to you to find the answer. Watson, on the other hand, has to make sense of the English itself. Really complex English and Jeopardy clue. Then it has to hunt, find an answer, and determine if it has confidence that it's the right answer or not. And whether it has enough confidence to bet on it. It's a much more sophisticated process. I really think the humans have an advantage in this competition because they understand English. And for Watson, language is really, really difficult. To understand just how difficult language is for Watson, you have to just look at some of its bloopers. One time, when asked for the, the Russian word for goodbye, Watson said cholesterol. When asking about the diet of a butterfly, it said that butterflies eat kosher. And when asked about a French bacteriologist, it responded, what is, how tasty was my little Frenchman? So what we had to do in Jeopardy is take questions and take phrases. We had to read lots of natural language documents and relate them to one another. IBM had to deal with people's fears about really smart computers during this process. And people are scared of Watson. I think they think that computers like Watson are going to invade their privacy, learn their secrets, maybe start making decisions for them. And I think they also worry that computers are going to take away their jobs. And I think as this goes forward, both those fears are justified. You know, Final Jeopardy, it reads a little bit like a sports story because it starts out with this, this team at IBM that has this sort of ragtag collection of software. And over the course of the story, they have to turn this software into a champion Jeopardy player. And it ends just like a sports story with a really exciting championship match. Now through the course of this, they grapple with the challenges of trying to teach a machine language, knowledge, and common sense. It's a fascinating process and it's, it's really an important one because as they do this and as we read about it, we see what's easy and what's hard for these machines. And we have to know this because we're gonna be surrounded by machines like this. Smart machines that listen to us in our language and talk back to us can find all kinds of answers. And in a world like this, what kind of knowledge and skills do we have to put in our own heads? This is something we all have to face and we have to know it for our children too. And Final Jeopardy helps us come up with the answers.